Okay, guys, we're back already with our second quick tip. Uh, somebody helped me out. Uh, they mentioned, because uh, I was complaining about the speed limit missing, uh, to control the speed limit that an engine can go. And somebody mentioned they thought it was either a double tap or hold on the uh, one part of the screen, and it turned out to be it was the hold. So uh, check it out. All right, guys, we're back for another quick tip here. So basically, uh, before in my part four video, I was complaining I couldn't find the speed limit anymore like it was on the cab two remote. So I thought they left it out somehow. But again, just like everything else in this app, a lot of things are either double taps or you press and hold. You know, there's all kinds of ways to get to sub things, right? And so what they've done on this one is they've put it underneath the speed step counter at the top there. Now we already know when you double tap that you get the red dial, so it's not a double tap. But if you hold it with your finger, then you will get the set clear speed limit menu and that'll let you set it. Now Lionel's, the way Lionel does it is a little different. The way the legacy system always did it is weird compared to MTHs. MTHs just let you put it in, right, directly and then it's set for that engine. You don't have to do anything. With this system, with Lionel's system, you actually have to get the throttle to that position in order to set it. So you can't set it right now because it's at zero. So what you have to do is get the throttle in that position. So what I do is I just um, start up the engine, right? Just so it's addressed basically and the thing has addressed the engine. And what I do then is I actually go kill the power to the track. And then even though the, the power is killed to the track, I can still move the slider and you can see the blue bar goes up there and it gives me a count. So I'm going to set this to 60. So I'm just going to hold down the speed step number there. I get it. And now it says 60 because that's where I left my throttle at. I'm going to hit set. Okay. It's now set <coughs> for 60 for, uh, for this one. So if I put my throttle back down, I'm going to turn the power back on the track. All right, and then I'll come back here and I'll start up my engine. All right now, I should not be able to go above 60 here, so I'm just going to put the throttle as far up as I can, and it stops right there at 60. Super cool. We got our uh, we got our speed control back. So I was really uh, hoping that was somewhere. I just couldn't find it. Okay, so it does work. So, and then of course, if you decide that that's either too low or too high, all you have to do is go ahead to the menu again by holding it and hit the clear. And then when you clear it, now it's back to zero, okay? Now you can set another one if you want to, and you go through that same process. And that is how you uh, set the speed limit on the app now, as opposed to the old way that was on the Cab 2 remote. Uh, the steps are really actually the same. It's just finding it was the uh, problem. That's my main problem. So I uh, Somebody on my YouTube channel said I think it's this or this and I'm like, okay Let me go try it and it was the uh, second choice which was to tap and hold and then you'll get the little speed limit menu It makes me wonder how many other things are underneath here for uh, you know different tap and hold and stuff that uh, I don't know about but Anyway, we'll get through all this stuff eventually, one by one, but that is our next quick tip, how to set your speed limit. All right, guys, another uh, little uh, issue solved and figured out, so two down, uh, probably a thousand more to go, but we'll get there. So I hope you enjoyed that little tip, and I'll see you next time. Peace.